Everything about Starfield sounds exciting. It will surely be an amazing game. But, there are a few things about this game that worries me. Starfield is not a space simulator, it's a single-player RPG. However, when playing a massive game like this, we all expect to have a certain level of immersion. To feel like we're actually flying a spaceship and exploring planets. But, it might not be possible to fully achieve that in this game. An important part of feeling immersion in a space game is being able to manually land and take off your ship. And it seems like that won't be possible in Starfield. In Starfield, it will be replaced with cutscenes that show your ship taking off or landing. According to Todd Howard, seamless spaceflight didn't make sense and they didn't think that was important for the player experience. For players coming from games like Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous, who are used to a more immersive ship flight experience, this might not be the case. This also brings us to another question that still hasn't been answered. And that is an atmosphere flight on planets. In Starfield, you have no means of transportation on planets. You don't have vehicles to travel around. You can only walk and run. And there hasn't been any mention of players being able to fly their ships after entering a planet. If you can't fly your ships and planets, it will be quite difficult to fully explore a planet just on foot. From the details revealed during the Xbox event, it looks like most of the on-planet gameplay is also somewhat limited. They are designed to be like procedurally generated instances. Listen closely to what this developer has to say about this. Our system builds a planet as the player approaches it. We stitch together a block of terrain. After that, we have the system that adds interested locations for the player to explore, creatures to encounter, or and plants to pick up. So even if your friends were to visit the same planet that you had, you would have a different story to tell. According to this developer, the areas you explore on planets are created just for you. If another player lands on that exact same spot where you have landed in their game, what they discover and experience will be completely different. In games like Elite Dangerous and No Man's Sky, you can actually land on a planet and walk all the way around that planet. And you can share the exact locations you discover with other players as well. But that won't be possible with Starfield. I know it's not fair to compare a single player RPG with sandbox space simulators, and I also know that these are small details compared to what this game has to offer. But it kind of worries me how these details might affect the feeling of immersion in the game. Nevertheless, I hope I'm wrong about my assumptions because I'm still very excited for Starfield and all the cool new features it will bring along. And I know most of these issues will be fixed by the community with the help of mods. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm interested to hear what you think about this matter. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know.